Hey guys, welcome to Aether Gazer, and we're talking about functors today. So a little bit of basics on functors, what you should use, where you should acquire them, and how you can, you know, put all things together because functors are a bit confusing, especially if you're beginning in this game. So um, functors are actually connected in your access key. So if uh, these are your functors here, so they are kind of like abilities to your weapon. So if you, let's say, for example, unequip this, so you won't have any functor um, equipped here. So let's uh, equip that again, as long as that specific functor. And let's look at the basics of this functor. So this functor will give you abilities uh, not, not abilities but but yeah abilities and stats as well so these add up to you leveling up your characters this one is a unique functor which is specifically equipped to this character to shinri so more or less she when you equip this functor this maximizes her output her damage output I also have here, um, this one is going to be a 5 star, but it's not a unique one. I'm going to tell you guys where to get this uh, in a while. Uh, most of my characters here have unique functors already. Um, also from Jine. And this one for title, title song, Poseidon. I don't have a specific functor for her because take note functors are based on your group or the faction that your hero is in so you cannot just equip any functor it has to be equipped by modifiers of only olympus modifiers so if you try to check um olympus modifiers here i don't have any so I could only equip Olympus modifier. This does not fit her at this point, but I don't have a choice. I have to use it. So let's leave it as is until I find a better functor for her. So technically, um, it's really according to faction. This is the you know the icon for the faction or for the group. You'll just have to find a better one for her. So going down to the basics of the functor. So again. Functor gives you stats, gives you abilities. Um, it escalates from 3-star, 4-star, 5-star, and a unique 5-star. So you can check them out here and the Functor directory. These are the Functors that you have. So you may check all of them here. So 3 and 4 will be your starting Functors. If you don't have any, use them. If Even if it doesn't fit your skill set, use them because they will you know you'll have to change them eventually three and four especially for three fours are actually you know okay to use eventually but you will have to um you know be contented with your four okay so as for your unique functors these babies here are basically um the the root functor that you have then once you awaken them you can choose let's say for this girl here herald unawakened if you pull for this i'll give you a concrete example so that you won't be confused so right now in the scan in the in the banner here i'm actually using shikigami the unawakened so under shikigami you can actually awaken these unique factors functors for specific characters so you'll have to change this banner to another one if you plan to let's say for example i plan to switch to this banner here and because i wanted to get um the functor for rahu so that is how it's going to be playing out so if you want to check out the functor here so these are your base functors you'll have to awaken and choose on a specific character if it's a unique functor so that is how the mechanic works of unique functors 
usually have specific skills that would would be activated more if you use it on a specific character okay so that is your 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 unique five star we'll go to um resource shop here and dimensional variable these are your base five star we were talking about the unique five star you can actually buy your base um, buy your 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 base five star functor here. So these are really um, you you can actually farm these easily. You can actually buy this. These are on sale. Once you purchase one, I actually bought one from here. This uh, Shikangami. So I bought one here. I equipped it in one of my modifiers. After the first purchase, it will go up. The cost will double actually up to 180 and i think after 180 it would go back to 360. so the first few purchases are actually cheaper but make sure that um again each of the f each of the factions or the groups are represented here so this one is for herald this one is for shikagami this one is for Basically, what, what I'm saying is um, one, one five-star, you know, one five-star uh, basic five-star. One basic five-star is going to be assigned to a one faction. So, you don't have a choice if your faction is... Let, let, let me give you an example so that you won't be confused. Yeah. So, if I am to look for a, a functor for Poseidon here... So, her, um, let's take a look at her, uh, call this, there you go. So, Olympus modifiers. So, Olympus modifiers or Herald Hippo. So, this is the um, insignia of the faction. So, if I go back to the shop, if I go back to the resource shop, this will be the only five star basic five star that will fit her so zero time triggered by mods is extended by two seconds when zero time increases skill damage by 30 percent although again it won't really fit her what they call this her um kit which is being a healer at least she could trigger this and help your other um character so that is how it works again it, it doesn't have any more flexibility, especially if you want to go with your basic 5-star. But eventually, if you have the resources, you could go for your unique 5-star for each of your characters. So let's go to dimensional variable. It's actually a content in the game. So this is what I mean here. So these are buffs that you can unlock then this is also another buff that you can unlock be careful because once you you know once you try to play this game you will have a couple of modifiers that you can choose from once you've chosen your modifiers you cannot you know change your modifier um, i'm already at normal 3-2 so if i for example start a challenge here I'm actually just limited to these three that I chose from the start. You cannot choose again after you've chosen your first three. So make sure that you you just have to play this and farm this. And you could actually, again, go to the shop and buy it with this currency. So please make sure that you farm this content so that you could get, you know, uh, functors here. Your basic five-star functors. And again for your unique functors you will have to go to the scan to the banners to get one of these babies and awaken awaken this one to get these you can actually choose from the factions that we have so five factions five basic then you choose to awaken that is it guys so i hope Actually, I, I hope that I was able to clear up what functors are and how important they are. Some of them make your characters very, very strong. Some of them 
kind of okay. But again, functors will be basic, will be your must in terms of your basics in building your character. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.